Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Deep Dimples. You already know what to do. You already know what it is. As you can tell by the title, what we're getting into today, it is Mother's Day weekend. And we're, you know, starting it off with a bake-off. My babies want to do a bake-off. So whoever wins the bake-off gets in Yes Day. I automatically get a Yes Day because it's Mother's Day weekend, of course. But if the, if the girls going against the boys and the girls are obviously starting and we have already got our utensils and stuff that we will be doing these blueberry muffin and yeah you guys these are our things right here and that's what we're gonna be doing so we're gonna get started i'm gonna set you guys up let me go get my little stand for you guys so i can prop you guys up and put you guys up got my little stand so now that i got my stand i'm gonna let you guys watch us beat these boys in this bake off because you know us ladies always got it in the bag all right you guys so right now we're buttering the pan up so our muffins won't stick to the pan while they're baking because you guys already know it's a heartache a headache to get anything out of the pans that you didn't butter you know what i'm saying so we actually took turns on everything and now we're gonna mix up our muffins and we are going to add strawberries as well in our muffins you guys just to change it up because we didn't want to keep the plain old blueberry muffins we let the boys think that we were just gonna do the regular old blueberry muffins but you know the girls are always 10 steps ahead we had a little tricks up our sleeves so we added strawberries to it and that's why we named it a berry muffin with cream cheese icing and of course you guys we washed the strawberries before we cut them up and put them inside we didn't add any other ingredients to our muffins because they were just delicious and smelled good the way they were already there was no necessary need of any other ingredient and yes we tried our food before we cooked it So now, as you guys can see, our consistency is the best because these are muffins. They are not pancakes and this is not cornbread. These are muffins. So the consistency of our batter had to be thick like this so they can actually come out an actual muffin, but still be fluffy and soft. You guys are going to see. Keep watching. So now we're gonna take the cream cheese and what I'm gonna do to loosen this icing up, I'm going to place some butter inside of a saucepan. It's already heated and um, I checked on the muffins so they won't over bake. Took them out, let them cool and this is how they are looking you guys. Fresh, they smelled so delicious you guys. Yum, it just smells so good. So we let the butter melt and then added the icing like a heavy amount of the icing let it melt up and just incorporated the butter inside of the icing um until everything just became one complete sauce Thank you. 
So these are the muffins after we let them cool down and transfer them to our tray out of the muffin pan. And now it's time for the fun part, the drizzle of the cream cheese icing which was so delicious i like the consistency the consistency you guys of the icing is very um liquidy but once it cooled down it literally like stuck to the muffins which was the good part about it it's like almost like the cinnamon buns you have to put the icing on there when they're fresh out of the oven so it can melt and then when you let it cool off it's just you know just good just goodness you guys so as you guys can see, you know the girls got this on lock. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see what the boys do. Look at that, y'all. Just look at that. I wish y'all can smell what we smelled. It was smelled so delicious. Okay, so here are the boys. They are making brownies, I think. Um, they're going to be showing you their steps and their ingredients on how they made their strawberry brownie cups. And this is them playing with the brownie mix. Vanilla extract in the brownie mix? Baby. Yeah, they, what, 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 what is going on? Hold on. I know this man. It's not putting vanilla extract in the goddamn brownie mix. You, let me just be quiet and see where he goes with this. Okay, eggs. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see what he got going on here, you guys. I'm watching this with y'all. Because we, like, did, like, the girls was in the room the entire time while the, the boys recorded and vice versa, you guys. So they was, like, literally locked up in the room while we did our thing. So they didn't watch us make this. So I'm watching this with y'all and I'm already thrown off by the the imitation. The imitation vanilla extract, you guys. Like I'm just so taken aback. But let's see where this goes, y'all. Okay. Now hold on, hold on. That's fly. I know good goddamn well this man ain't but you don't use flour with the brownie mix. Like <gasps> An entire bowl? Bro, use the entire bag of flour? Where is... What? Lord have mercy. Oh, my goodness. The brownie mix. I think this dude ain't even read the goddamn instructions in the back of the brownie box. You can't... Like, you can't make this up, you guys. Like, we won by default already just for him adding the flour. Like, what? in the world you got to be kidding me the ingredients were simply on the back of the box my dude you do not use vanilla extract nor do you use a whole bag of flour i mean if you were making it from from scratch this would make sense but babe you already have the mix already why would you embarrass me like this on youtube this is so embarrassing you guys see this is why the men don't need to be in the kitchen because what is this and the consistency is just like so watery like did you even add oil did you even add the right amount of water like whew, let me get off this voiceover right quick before I, oh my blood pressure going up Oh my gosh. So, okay, so they most definitely, you know, two minds always think alike, you guys. They most definitely um, was trying to be like us. Because we all, I mean, we have other fruits, you guys, but us, it seems like, you know, two minds always think alike. We went exactly straight for the strawberries. Y'all, I just asked this man. Did he follow the ingredients and the instructions from the back of the brownie box? You know, we have these little measuring cups. As you guys saw in the beginning when we was making our um, mix, we used the white little measuring cups for the right amount of ingredients and stuff like that. This man used an entire cup of water. 
instead of using the little measurement for cooking tools, this man used an exact measuring cup of water that you drink, a cup that you drink out of. Like, I cannot make this. These men, uh uh-uh. I, the embarrassment, you guys, the audacity, like, you cannot make this up. Look at the, it's straight water. The mix is straight water, you guys. Look at this. Oh, poor babies. This is crazy. This is so, oh my goodness, y'all. And you think, we better eat this? Uh-uh, we got to check to see how these things come out. Because I know it's not going to come out right. Like, ew. Like, what? This is why the man has to stay out of the kitchen, you guys. Like, this is a pure example of why men stays out the kitchen, whether it's cooking, baking, anything. This right here should be against the law, for real. Y'all, look at the batter consistency of brown. That is not a brownie mix, yo. That is not brownie batter. That looks like, I don't know. But at least, you know, at least they tried, y'all. I got to give him to him for trying. I got to give it to him for, you know, his thought process, his concept, his creative concept. But babe, this is not the way to go. Y'all don't do too much in the comments. Because I will take it in. But this is like, I mean, like, you're giving more than a reason, bro, at this point. Because I, I can't I can't defend you like this, babe. I, I really can't. What is going on? Do y'all see this? This is crazy. Alrighty, you guys so these are the boys strawberry brownies as you can see they tried to be like us but it's okay um and then over here are beautiful decadent berry muffins we have berry muffins with cream cheese icing sauce and the guys have the strawberry brownies you know they try to be like us but it's okay so what we're gonna do right now you guys we're going to taste them, taste them so we can roll them out or rule them in you guys okay all right you guys so we are going to try our berry all right so we're gonna try it Good. These berry muffins. Mm -hmm. And here's the boys' strawberry brownies, you guys. We want. We want. Look how fluffy. Look at. Oh. Look how fluffy and soft and delicious our muffins are compared. Compared to these thick. Look, look, look. Look. Is that a brownie to y'all? Alrighty, you guys. So, of course, you guys already know what it is. The girls won with our berry muffins. As you can see, the guys, at first it was going to be a deal breaker, but you know the baby had to deal break the um, competition. And he picked our berry muffins with our cream cheese ice. He picked our berry muffins with the cream cheese icing on top you guys so of course like i told y'all in the beginning the girls won the girls was going to win i told you guys this so i'm gonna close out this video i will see you guys tomorrow in the next and yeah